So a lot of these people listen to uh, the people watching or mm-hmm. listening or however our you listeners. Know, our listeners. Uh, Sending questions to ask about, you know, themselves. Well, okay. we had a particular one that obviously is about themselves, but another person lives. Um, obviously, a lot of us have significant others, and, you know, you may be fitnessly motivated, or and they may not be. And you're getting to a point where you have a certain, I guess, how do I put this easily, physical expectation of your partner that, you don't feel like they're meeting. How do you? Your girlfriend's getting fat. Yeah. How do you? How do you bring up that conversation? Or your boyfriend. Yeah. Or your husband. You or don't. your dog. I Guys get what, fat too. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you're into. We all, we all get fat. I'm not, we're not going to talk about the into the dogs thing. Just <laughs> ruining the show, Gen Z. <laughs> now that's a good question though. How do you talk to your significant other if you are if they're, you know, they're starting to put on the pounds and they're not watching their health and of course there's some some key things there especially as you get older. I mean if you if you are 40s 50s like that's something that you need to start getting a handle on before you get older because i mean bad health in your 40s 50s you know just gaining weight and being overweight it's not going to go away in your in your 60s 70s like it's only going to get worse and it's only going to create bigger problems so it's obviously an important conversation so if you had if you had a wife or a girlfriend or a husband or a boyfriend whatever it is that's putting on excess weight you know how would you approach the topic john I, I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> no. If I if I did find myself in that situation, I would tread very lightly, but I would probably put more of the emphasis on the health aspect. You think the health would convince them? I think I'm not saying anything would convince them. That's this is the angle I you would just take. you just go you say you know how your clothes don't fit anymore <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know how That's, I had to buy a new new, new once, wardrobe. Yeah, I'm honey, we about, don't got money for another wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know how the you're feeling, eating so much lately. Yeah. The feeling is what I would go off of to feel better because I personally have been a little, a little fat in my days. And I can tell you 100%, you feel a lot better being an active person. You do for sure. Um, so I would go off that, the, the things you're able to accomplish during your day, the way you feel during but you're your day. Saying, do you think I'm fat? Yes. Once again, Do I wouldn't. I wouldn't fat? be in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> you just let him. You so just I let would, him keep getting larger. Yeah, I would absolutely not. I think there's a point in time where you do have to consider the health aspect. You know, yeah, there's, I mean, there's a certain, group, there's a certain, really certain is, group of people yeah. that, that are into the larger, the larger people. You know, both man and female, and so they may not have a problem with the way they look. Sure. But at a certain point, they do need to say, "Hey, you know, you're going to be pre-diabetic soon if you keep getting lar- larger, and you're going to have, you know, heart heart problems, and you're going to have all these other other issues that are kind of come, you know, along with your your health yeah. being bad." And so I think that's a very, a very necessary conversation. The other conversation we're talking about is obviously, you know, looks and attraction and personal preference and sure. things, which is just as important in my opinion. Sure. You know, you should always want to so look self-conf- good. So I wouldn't have this, I wouldn't have this sweet mustache if my wife didn't enjoy my sweet mustache, you know? So yes. that would be, if she was like, I hate your mustache, I'd probably, I'd probably get rid of it. So my face instead she thinks I look good, nice. guys. So. The mustache is staying. Yep. I, uh, it's a tough one. She must have liked Tombstone when we watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Tombstone's a great movie. I, um, yeah, I would, uh, I would, like I said, that's a tough one, but I do think it can definitely be done. Definitely can be done. Yeah. Brock, how would you approach this? I think approaching it, you have to acknowledge your own faults first. So the other, so they that's don't a feel very attacked. Wise, uh, so you have to first wise. attack um, yourself and put yourself out of vulnerability saying, Hey, you know, I don't feel good about myself recently. Like, I feel like I've, I've been kind of getting, letting myself go. Can I, can I get you as a gym partner to kind of help me and push me through this journey to kind of motivate okay. me? Okay. A little bit, a little bit tricksy there, eh? Yeah. You know, and it's like, you know, I obviously I'd be like, you know, maybe you, you obviously haven't been as active either. Maybe it'll help both of us. And then I'd start playing that angle, <laughs> but it has to start off with, it's my problem. My idea, will you help me? And then, okay. and then. You know, let's say you're taking initiative and it's not being reciprocated. Maybe you could address it a little bit more head on at that point. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, I, especially being a, a heterosexual male, having to approach a woman's emotions. I feel like being a woman having to approach a, you know, vice versa, it might be differently. And uh, sure. that's just kind of how I would do it is I don't see any success coming at it like, hey, honey, getting a little thick around the hips you know i i <laughs> i love having stuff to grab onto but i wasn't thinking love handles uh, <laughs> you know so I, I that might not be the best way yeah that definitely would not be the best way it might you never know though 
and the honesty might be they say they want honesty, right? Yeah. So why wouldn't honesty be the best policy? I, right? <laughs> right? 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 You want us to be honest? <laughs> yeah. You're just getting a little hefty. You need to start exercising. I think working out with me compared to you need to work out is an extremely important distinction. It is. A, is a, it's a like good those one. Those three little words change the whole message. Do you want to go to the gym with me? It's a much easier way to get this started. Then you need to go to the gym. Yeah, that's an extremely different statement. Yeah, <laughs> extremely different. Statement. Well, there's I think there's a lot of things that could could happen in terms of your conversation of like the quality of food that you'll eat, you know, things like that. I was which, just about what you to guys say, buy at groceries. That probably is more of an effect than you know, doing going grocery shopping yeah. together would be a good a good you know instance or something like that because you know she may be buying stuff that you're like, why are you buying you know these cheese crackers every every time you go to the grocery stores? You know, you're not going to eat them if you don't have them whatever it is, and just doesn't get him once there or helps her make better choices on food. I think grocery shopping together is a, a huge thing. I was just about to say, I don't think you'd have to be sneaky about it, but if, if you're actually dealing with that sort of issue, that's what I would do. Yeah. I mean, Susie is, is tiny, so I need to make her gain weight, so I get double stuff Oreos all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna. She's not going to be gaining weight through the gym. Like She needs to be eating more crap. Like, <laughs> but some people need the opposite, and I think as far as just straight weight, you're going to make a lot bigger difference if you put down – you know, the Oreos or you pick them up, that's going to do a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think the grocery store thing is probably number one step mm-hmm. in that. Cause realistically, if, if this is your partner or spouse or significant other, majority of the time you, you're not, you know, blame free in this whatsoever. Yeah. So I think coming at it approach like, Hey, you have the problem you need to fix this. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, just, I, just because you find them like, Fat doesn't mean that they find themselves fat. So it's only a problem to you. So unless you're willing to make that effort to, I guess, uh, be their partner with it and, and you know, be a, taken on as a journey, I feel like that's the best way to approach it. 